Hi, welcome to my APCD 3D house tutorial. I call it the beginner's guide to 3D houses with the APCD. Um, in this video, I uh, my intention is to show relatively new APCD beginners how to uh, create a 3D building. A 3D house, uh, a simple method, um, and to how to get rid of the shadows and everything. Um, this is a 12 part series of videos and I will go through everything from uh, creating the foundation to uh, going off plot with a shape and turning it into a house and uh, then adding the windows and doors, adding textures, and uh, finally at the end removing the shadows. Um, what you're looking at here is a uh, Google Earth uh, photograph of my hometown plot in Missouri. Uh, it's just a simple little nine hole course. Uh, nothing special about it. Uh, I'm, I'm recreating this for the owner and um, I, after I got started with it I, I soon realized that to make this look realistic um, I was going to have to recreate all of the houses and buildings that are in sight all around the uh, the course um, if, if you were trying to play this course and didn't see those buildings, um, you just wouldn't recognize, it just wouldn't be the same. So um, I set, to, set out to figure out how to build 3D houses. Um, I soon found out that there's not a whole lot of help out there available. So I started asking some of the guys over at Link's Corner um, how to get into it. And those guys are super. They helped me out. They got me started, got me off in the right direction. And then I spent lots and lots of time experimenting. I finally uh, stumbled my way into a pretty simple method that I'm kind of, um, I, that I would like to show others that want to get started with it. So they won't be so afraid. Because a lot of it is fear, and once you see what it's about, I believe you'll find out it's easier than you might think. So, that's my intention, is to help beginners to get into 3D houses. So, uh, as you can look around the course here, you'll see all these houses I've already created. Now, I haven't removed the shadows on them, but I uh, did build the houses. There's a tool shed here, the clubhouse, the cart shed, a row of houses along the entryway where you come into the course this way along this main drive. There's a couple of two family condos and way back over here is one more house. It's the last one on the plot and I'm going to do it in this tutorial. Um, so with that being said, let's uh, make our way over there and, and uh, get started. I'll select face and I'll zip over there. All right, what we're looking at here now, uh, this map, uh, this photo is, is in true scale. So we got the shape of this guy's house here. I can't see the windows and doors. Um, I really don't care what the windows and doors around the outside look like. I'm not going to be that technical. I just want to create a simple house. I'll make up the doors and windows as I go. Uh, there's also a patio on the back of the house where, that overlooks the, uh, the St. Francis River back here. And uh, this whole piece of property slopes downhill behind this house. So his house sits on the side of a hill, like this. It's quite a slope. 
Now the uh, elevations and everything have been set, so this is fairly accurate. So there's his driveway coming up over this hill. And uh, you come in the driveway here and along this drive to get down to his house. Okay, so far I've prepared this plot in this, in that I have out laid, I've laid out the verts and edges into the shape of the house so it's the right scale, the right size. And uh, when I hold down here, you can see the shape of that foundation. So what I'm going to do is select it and extrude it up out of the, uh, out of the ground. So I'll select face. Oops. Face. Drag select. And I'll select the whole top of that, including this um, patio back here. Now, I'm going to put a sidewalk along the front of the house. And I'm going to put the entry door right here. Oh, that doesn't belong there, but that's what I'm going to do to it. So there's the whole uh, shape of the house. Everything that I need to be perfectly flat to create my foundation. I'm going to hit extrude. I'm going to pull this up out of the ground. And I'm going to select the top view and zoom down on top of it. And I'm going to sharpen all the edges. I will deselect the outer grass. All righty, minus one on that. There we go. Now I'm going to go back to the face which is still selected by the way and I'm going to select the move tool and I'm going to move this over so it's straight up and down and not leaning backwards like it is here okay I'll get down fine tune it here Oops. Okay, good enough. Now, its uh, top is still selected, and while it is, I'm going to hit the Flatten tool, which will level this thing. Here we go. Flatten. And there it is, level. Now all I need to do is pull it back down into the ground using the Move tool on the Z-axis until it's level in the front and lined up with this uh, with the ground in, on the driveway. But before I go all the way down, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it up high enough where I can work on it easily. And I'm going to apply the textures to it right now. The whole foundation is going to be made of cement. I have a cement texture that I created and I've made planars for all views from the top view from the south view and from the east view which I assigned to all of my cement on my whole plot so I'm going to go get that texture and apply it to this and then apply the planars so I will select all here top is already selected I'm going to hold down the shift key and select the bottom part too now I'm, I'm going to open this by itself. I will go find that cement texture. Here it is. I will add that. Alright. Um, I'm just uh, 
I'm going to leave it all selected. There's no sense in deselecting anything. And I'll create my plan. I mean, I'll uh, assign my planners uh, to the tops and sides as I go here. So the planner I want for this one is FT Cement Top right here. So I'll select OK. Go down here and take a look. And it should change to the uh, proper texture when I hit the Add To. And there it is. You can see the, the grain now in it. All right. Now I'm going to deselect everything. And then I'm going to start selecting. just these sides, the east and the west side. Okay, I got just the east and the west side selected. So now I will add the east planar for my cement. So I'll select a mapping. Here's the east cement planar. I'll add, add two, and there we go with the right texture on that side. And I'll do the same with the south sides and north sides. So I'll Alrighty. Now we'll find the south side. Okay, add two. And now we got on that one. So there's all three of our textures applied to all three, I mean, planars assigned to all three sides. So there we have uh, the foundation complete, except uh, we need to lower it back down into the ground. So I'm going to select face again, drag select. Uh, move tool and down. Now, I can't hardly get this perfect, but I can get it close. And once I get it to this point, what I would do is select verts, drag select, and then flatten. And that brings them together perfectly. This is also going to be concrete or cement out to, uh, to uh, this point. Looks like this is gravel up to a turnaround spot right here. So this is going to be cement from this point back. So all I'm concerned about is getting these level. So I'll drag select that, hit flatten. And over here I need to pull this side up. Yeah, as soon as I get the move tool selected. Flatten that one. And flatten that one. You know, we'll get on the insides of these. This is a sidewalk. Just need to have just a tiny bit showing up here. Along the front. The entry door will be right here. So, 
So there we have the foundation complete. And in the next video I'll be uh, creating the shape, uh, the size of this foundation, and going off plot to turn that shape into the house. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.